Hey, Quakers of England, so I have some great news for you. Have you ever sat there and found yourself thinking, where can I go from here? Or maybe, what kind of difference can I make in my life? Or can I start new and maybe reinvent myself? Well, I have the place for you. It's this little place, well, I guess you can consider a big place, called Pennsylvania. Now, you're probably wondering why I would suggest to you guys a place to go. Well, there's plenty of reasons to go to Pennsylvania, but the biggest that I know of right now is Pennsylvania has this huge openness to all religions. That means you can practice what you want to practice. It's great. So, you see, this man, William Penn, discovered this vast amount of land, and he bought it from the Indians. So, he took his last name, Penn, and slapped on a few unnecessary letters and synonyms, and BAM! Pennsylvania. Anyways, I have to tell you the best part about Pennsylvania. It has this no, a strict no-tax-supported church system, which I know you guys in England refuse to pay taxes for, you know, church and all. So this would be a perfect place for you. It's actually a place where you can go and fit in and feel like you belong there. People from all over worship as they please in Pennsylvania. And boy, oh boy, let me tell you, Quakers are a big thing over there. So you can actually be where you belong. So what's holding you back? It's definitely not immigration restrictions because Pennsylvania doesn't have those. I'm telling you guys, Pennsylvania is a society that gives its citizens economic opportunity, civil liberty, and most importantly, the much desired religious freedom you all want. So pack up, travel the huge ocean, and join the people of Pennsylvania. I promise, it's not something you're going to regret. They don't bite, and you'll get a nice warm welcome. So why not live somewhere where you feel welcomed and you can live how you want to live and not be judged. So have that Quaker spirit and go to Pennsylvania.